everybody, and welcome to another summer segment of Li Kumbari. I just really, really enjoy these segments because it takes me back to our series. Series where we had a great time with our friends that were on the cast and the stories that we wrote up. I don't even know how we wrote up these stories. They just kept going on and on and on and the creative juices were flowing and it was just so much fun about the Italian-Canadian uh, younger and older generation here in Canada, um, but I'm sure everybody else across the world, all the Italians in the world, whoever is watching and following on, you know, this podcast as well as they used to follow the series, they would know that, um, you know, they would reminisce and say, oh my God, yeah, that's right, we used to do that. So that's the fun part of the series, that we get to reconnect with who we were in the past and who we are here now, you know, in Canada and elsewhere in the world, outside of Italy, of course, but Italy included. Actually, one of the... Um, the episodes that I do remember, it's um, it's called, it's from season three, actually. Um, so if whoever was watching or whoever didn't watch, I'll give you a little bit of an insight. It's called Sightings, uh, episode three, uh, sorry, season three, episode 19. It's called Sightings. Um, when Maddie Lisa played by myself, uh, my ex-husband, whom I thought had been uh, had been dead for, dead for quite some time, uh, has been seen. And um, I'm conflicted because I'm currently starting a relationship with another gentleman, Franco. And lo and behold, I find out that my ex-husband has been cited alive. So I have a moment where I speak to my mother. And she's actually my real-life mother, Francesca. Uh, not Francesca the detective, Francesca uh, my mother. And she's actually really my mom. So I sit down and I have a discussion with her in the park and I'm tormented and I need her advice. And she becomes a little bit too realistic and real for me. And I'm unable to absorb what she's saying and I become so huffy and upset and I leave. And I'm sure many people have experienced, whether a male or female, moments like this with their a parent, not necessarily a mom. But this one touched me because it was actually the first time my mom and I really were into a dramatic scene together. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Mama, so no, you, it's me. Can you come and meet me? I, I need to talk to you. I really need you, Mama, right now. Please. Okay. Okay, grazie. I'm at the park. Grazie. Hello, 
mamma. Allo, 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 allo. Accettate. You call me. You, you have a problema? O you just want to talk? Nino. Nino? Ok, Nino. Let's talk Nino. I saw Nino, mamma. You saw Nino? Sì. Oh. Lisa, you saw Nino, you happy? I don't know what to do, mamma. Ma what's the problem now? What's the problem? He's alive, mamma. He's alive. He's alive. I saw, I saw oh, him. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh my God. You lucky. You saw your husband? I lucky? Mamma, I saw Nino, a man who left me and my daughter alone. Senza niente, I was crying. My daughter needed to be consoled. He comes back out of the blue, nobody knows why. And I'm with Franco, mamma. What do I ah, do? Franco, leave Franco alone. Who is Franco? Franco, I love Franco. You love you, you Franco. You, you, your husband is Nino. Uh, my Father. husband was dead. He come back. You see him dead? Uh, yeah. Mama, I don't care if I see him dead or don't say, okay, let's say, I see him in a tree. The man was in front of my eyes today, but he had left me and my daughter. What am I supposed to do? Leave a man I love because he is back? I'm not going to tell you what to do. So then I ask you for advice. Why do you come No then? advice from, from your mama. You know you have a husband. He alive, no matter what happened. No. He is your husband. No, he was dead. He left. If he loved us, mama, especially his daughter, you know, no, me. You but don't know why he had to leave. It doesn't matter. I'm his wife and he has a child. You don't leave us alone like that. But you don't know what happened. I don't care what happened. Why he you... talks to me. He's my husband. Why you he comes talk... back. Why you don't talk to him? Why? No, because I love Franco and I need to know what to do. I'm not going to tell you what to oh, do. Why do you bother coming at all? Because you asked me. Yo, yo, Franco. Yo, Franco. Hey, you seen Bolt. What's going on? What's up? I went to see the bikers. Yeah, did you take care of it? Yeah, yeah. I gave them the money uh -huh. and they roughed me up, man. They what? They, they, they grabbed me, they, they put my arms behind me like this. Easy. They were oh, well, easy, holding, easy. holding okay. me like... Okay, stop, easy, calm. You went to pay the bikers, you gave them the money? Uh, yeah, I gave, I, gave, I gave them the money. Okay. And they, 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 they grabbed me, they go, don't you ever do that again. Do what? Walk up to them, I have no idea what to do. I have no idea, it's not like I snuck up behind them, man. When I give them the money, like, and they held my arms behind they me. Gra they grabbed you and they held you? Yeah. Are you serious? Alfie was there? Yeah, he was. And how did you give them the, mo the money? I'm, I went and see them, and they're like, yo, I'm here to, you, to give you this. And he said, like, you never, ever do that. Never come up to bikers like that. They know you like, work for me. I have no idea, man. Jesus Christ. You're serious, eh? Did, does he have the money now? Yeah, he does. He does. I'm going to have to handle it got to learn his boundaries here because you work for me. It doesn't touch you. All right. All right, what do you have to do now here? Are you busy or what? No, I just got it back home. It changed. Okay, look, I need... I'm having trouble. I got a weird phone call from Luigi. He's telling me to stay away from Mary. She's not even talking to me. I don't understand what's going on. I saw her, and I was, I went to talk to her, I felt we were going to go on a date, she said, like, no, and she started walking. What's wrong, Sally? I know it's been a while, but everything's going to be all right, Sally. We'll be back cutting hair, making everybody look good. No, Sally, it's all right. You don't have to cry. It's going to be all right. Here, here, have, have some cider. All right? This is going to be about Polly Clippers. All right, so Polly Paul Clippers went to the barber shop, got some oil, and then they started cutting hair. And once they were done with their hair, Polly Clippers saw all the hair on the floor, thought he made a mistake. But Alberto the barber told him we didn't make a mistake. 
when you cut hair, hair falls. Sally. All right, Sally, what can I, what can I practice? Remember when we cut that hair? What can I cut this? What can I pretend it's hair, Sally? Let's go. Fantastic. Oh, great, Sally, Sally, that's fantastic. What well, can I get rid of this Donald Trump hair? What well, can I make it look good, you know, like Tony Monero? Oh, oh, you want to wake up or what? I'm talking to you. Yeah, that release, uh... You're going to listen to me or what? Yeah. I'm having problems here. All right, sorry, sorry, I'll listen to you. So, oh my God. So I was with her and she got kind of like got all messed up and I don't know, she just like left. I tried to follow her, like to say, hey, what's going on? And like, she didn't even want to look at me. Maybe Nino's in the picture. Maybe she's, so, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And then Luigi calls me and he's like, stay away from her. It's a warning, like a warning. I don't take warnings very well. I'm a bit lost here. I'm a bit screwed up, man. I don't know what to do. Um, Okay, you gotta do me a favor. Sure. Use your uh, speedy legs, take a run, and go find, look for Marjorie. Just see what she's up to, okay? All Don't right. make it obvious, but see what she's up to. I need to know what's going on. I, I need to know if Nino's back in the picture, if I don't know what's going on. I, I, sure, I'll find out for you. All right, go do that. We'll talk. All right, we'll talk. Good job. <laughs> what a life. Jesus Christ. Come on, Louis. Answer. This is crazy. Benny. Come on, dude. Pick up the phone. That was a very, very intense scene for me. Um, and I felt it, and I'm sure my mom felt it afterwards too, but my mom was not an actor, so she was sort of um, given the role uh, based on who she was in real life, who she is in real life, sorry, who she is in real life. So we sort of incorporated her into the story, and that was a very, very um, touching scene for me. Um, the episode itself, as you go on and you watch it, you see the different interactions with the different characters. And that's what makes a series so amazing is that you see the stories of different characters in different scenes and how they intertwine eventually once you get to the end of the uh, the series. So this is something that I really, truly enjoyed. It was an amazing project. Um, will there be another Kumbari? We don't know. We don't know. There have been murmurings um, from some of the cast. Um, the the script itself was very fun to do. Would there be another one? We don't know. We'll have to see. So you can always give us your feedback on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this segment or this episode rather. I hope it piqued your interest to see what exactly what else these zany wild characters are up to. Stay tuned for our next segment for the summer. Uh, enjoy your summer, guys. It's short, it's sweet, it's really, really hot. I'm scorching right now, but I want you guys to have an amazing summer. Uh, see you guys all soon online and uh, take care. Don't forget, the Kumbadi podcast who has the characters up from the series appearing. So guys, stay tuned for that as well. Take care. Bye.